Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this video we're going to start creating these small tables in here and this is going to be the result at the end of this video. We're going to create this, it's going to be very quickly and you will notice that it's very easy. But before we start creating this I will show you the result from the cushions in the last video which is going to be very quickly. So let's start guys okay I show you guys how to create the cushions and I create this out of out of video so well as I told you if I press alt R it is cleaning the rotation so what we're gonna do we're going to duplicate this cushion and we are going to use it in here in this cushion we're going to duplicate it and use it in here <clears throat> and let's start I'm going to you can duplicate with shift D and you can specify the axis but this time I'm going to use all D which is pretty much an object that is linked to this one so when I modify this this is going to be modified too so we're going to say um, when exporting meshes and all those things so we're going to be using this side of the cushion here I'm explaining you these guys because um, it's, it's just to save you some time and show you the workflow I, I use okay it's going to be very quick Okay, all you need is the the cushion looks like is put it softly in the, the couch and the sofa. I'm going to move this, move this. Um, that's fine. Even when you can see some objects trespassing the others, this is looking good so now I'm going to rename this this is going to be the number three no. okay I have already created them <clears throat> that's why you will see but anyway I'm going to show you and then I'm going to select this and I'm going to duplicate duplicated well now we're going to use all D move it C axis and then I'm going to rotate this this way scale it in X axis but the normal you see that I'm using normal so this is a really easy way to move the cushions you can see that well this X axis in here is really useful and it is mostly because <clears throat> if I press Alt R this is the the rotation of the object and this is the normals so really really useful I really hope you you can use it and you'll you learn how to and when to
Okay, guys. This is how your sofa should be looking like. This is the result. So, really help you. You enjoyed creating the sofa, and now let's start with that small table. I'm going to save this and start a new blend. Control N in object mode. So. I'm going to use metric screencast and to create that table we're going to add a cube which is basically what I use to work now um, you will notice that this is 2 meters 2 meters and 2 meters mm, but of course that's huge for a for a small table we're going to be using so I'm going to scale this dot 27 27 like that <coughs> okay and I'm going to scale this in C axis dot one and we're going to start working with this I'm going to create the, the file with save us I really like to use F2 to create a new blend and I'm going to name this small table dot blend okay now I'm going to add lab cuts two and other two. I'm going to scale them in x axis until I can get the result I want, which is going to be two dot seven. And I want this to be a perfect square. So in y axis I'm going to scale with the same number two dot seven. Okay. <clears throat> we are going to be using Bevel with this object, guys. The modifier Bevel. <clears throat> so we are not going to create the Bevel by hand. And we're going to add Bevel pretty much like at the end. <clears throat> this is going to be really quickly. Now we're going to use an array from these faces in here. I'm going to duplicate them move it along y-axis rotate 90 degrees and ro rotating y-axis 90 degrees again <clears throat> we're going to create some tables with this but this is really really big so I'm going to scale this in c-axis to dot 4 which is less than half and in x-axis scale x-axis that six. Okay, now I'm going to separate this. So for now, this is a new object. <clears throat> I'm going to rename. This is going to be small table. <clears throat> now we're going to be using array here. Um, the thing here is they should be separate and as usual I have the number that I want to use in this and is this that I'm using here we are going to be using as much as you need this case this number is working now I don't want this to be a separate object so <clears throat> I'm going to apply array once that I'm sure that this is the object I want if you if you need it you could create a 
separate object and move it to the last layer to create a backup if you want it you can do it but I'm really sure that this is the number that I want and I'm going to select this object and then our base and control J to join so we're getting close now I'm going to select one of these faces in here this one I'm going to duplicate I'm going to scale it twice or 2.5 I mean I'm going to move this okay I'm going to change the snap options to vertex I'm going to okay to select the the axis the axis I want okay now I'm going to extrude this I hope you're getting the, the idea you're getting the shape I'm going to be extruding this I don't know like dot 22 negative these numbers I'm using is just because at the end everything with this object is going to be matching with the size so when you at the moment that you are going to be how can I explain you <clears throat> at the end of these videos we have to add everything to a blend and this is going to match pretty well because we are using these numbers of course um, this is because I have created two or three times before recording <clears throat> okay this is our basic shape by the way this is going to be a very easy table very simple with nothing weird or anything like that okay now I'm going to add a detail in here I'm just adding lap cuts nothing weird anything like that okay now I'm going to be using spin again I really like um, that tool found it very use useful <clears throat> I'm going to select this vertex in here spin with all R and I'm going to select the degrees in here which is going to be okay 9 is just not good we're going to be using like 16 okay and I'm going to separate this with the y with the y okay and delete this edge loop okay now from cursor I'm going to scale this in C axis I'm going to scale it dot 25 okay now I'm going to deselect those edges we're going to be using again medium point extrude C axis scale in C to 0 now I'm going to snap it and I'm going to use bridge once I have created bridge with the Y which means split yes split I'm separating this 
why? Well, it's because of Bevel. We're going to be using Bevel, and if you separate this, is going to be looking better. Okay, now I need the cursor in the middle again. I'm going to select both objects, and from from top view, I'm going to well, I need cursor as the the pivot and I'm going to duplicate this and then I'm going to rotate 90 duplicate, rotate 90 duplicate, rotate 90 and this is well this is it now all I'm going to do I'm going to add bevel or well you can apply rotation scale then add bevel I really think that one centimeter is going to be too much, so I'm going to using ten millimeters uh, and see how it is going. Okay, why it's not working? Okay, I'm going to be using two, and you will notice that this is looking really, really weird. But all I'm all I'm going to do, or we are going to be doing, is the shading change to smooth, and then we're going to be using edge split. And that's it, guys. This is our small table. In the next video, we're going to be creating the lamp. So that's it. See you.